Hi, my name is Wendom and you're welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to make this pointer sleeve. It is very simple and if this is what you're interested in, keep on watching. To make this sleeve, the measurement you're going to be needing is your round armhole measurement. But since you don't want this sleeve to get to the damp part of your armhole, you're going to start from your shoulder to measure where in particular you want this sleeve to end, okay? So I measure that 5 inches and now now this five inches is unfold in that case when you open this up it's going to be 10 inches what you're going to do next is to go ahead and start cutting out your pointy structure sleeve so what i would advise you do is to bring in a paper and cut out a pattern first after you cut out a pattern then you use it to construct your sleeve so i folded my my paper into two and the folded part is going to be the shoulder region okay now from the other part of the open side you're going to go in by two inches because you don't want your sleeve to be straight it's not going to come out well okay and from these two inches you're going to determine how long you want your structure so for me i'm going to make use of five inches okay although i think it is too pointy but it all depends on what you want and now from these two inches again you're going to diagonally measure out the wideness of your sleeve that is um the actual measure measurements you took on the rand armhole okay and you can see i've measured mine out i measured out six inches and you're going to go ahead and use your french curve like this don't use a straight ruler okay use a curved ruler so that it will be able to stay in place when you want to attach this to your shoulder so what i am going to do next is to go ahead and connect my dots okay so you can see i've connected from the two inches to the six inches and now down to the five inches mark so once you are done connecting this what you are going to do next is to go ahead and make sure that you blend it properly well on that length okay so that is not going to be too pointed so and once you're done with this you're going to go ahead and cut out your sleeve okay so if you are sewing this sleeve into your armhole you're going to have to put stitching allowance but for me i'm going to be packing this into my armhole i'm not going to sew into the armhole so me i will advise you tack it so that this sleeve can relax properly well on your shoulder but if you want if you have decided to sew you're going to have to um input the seam allowance all right so after we cut this out you can see what we have next i feel like this is very pointy so what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and reduce that pointy part by half an inch so i'm going to make use of my marker right now and then use my tape okay and from the pointed part i'm going to go in by half an inch can you see what i'm doing i'm going to go in by half an inch and then once after i mark this now i'm going to fold my paper into two and then use my curve ruler to connect it gradually into the other parts can you see what i'm doing so you're going to have to connect like this and then cut it out and now you guys once you're done with this you're going to have to bring in your peplum stay or your collar stay but for mine i made use of a collar stay i think that is very very perfect for this okay because peplum stay is kind of a little bit soft also 
but before that let's go ahead and cut on our fabric okay before we bring in our color stay okay so because i'm going to be making use of this particular fabric as my actual fabric and the lining piece i'm going to go ahead and cut this into two so hence why i folded into four can you see what i'm doing so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then i will gladly head over to my ironing table and then fuse my peplum stay into these two okay this is a peplum stay go ahead and use what you have on your lining piece and the actual piece to cut out your peplum stay and you are going to have to go ahead to your ironing table and then fuse these two together okay and after we're done this is what we have you guys so what i'm going to do next is to make sure i have these two facing each other okay and then i'm going to go ahead and mark out half an inch and this is where i'm going to be running my stitches and once you're done with this you're going to go ahead and cut out the seam and you guys you can see i have boning right by the side i was considering if i should put a boning you can do that after the seam allowance in that case the boning has to be before the seam allowance okay so you guys this is what we have i'm going to go ahead and flip this over to the right side go over to my ironing table give it a good press and then stitch up the open part okay and after we're done the next you're going to see is this on the mannequin you can actually style this anyhow you want you can put a fringe however you want it and you guys this will be the end of this tutorial if you find this helpful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye